This is a local business hack, a service business hack, and a backlink hack. It's very simple, very, very, very simple. So if you're looking for a new SEO tactic to try that not a lot of people are doing, that's what I got for you on this episode of the show. This is it, very simple. Build out service pages. Each page targets a different service in your niche, something that you offer, a granular task turned into a page, for example. If you're an event planning business, you might have VIP guest coordination as a page or vendor sourcing for luxury events or private party planning. These are, these are each different services, each different tasks. You make a page for each of them. And then, and then what you do is in Google business profile, because you should have a Google business profile, you're probably a local business, but even if you're not a local business, this still works in Google business profile, you click add product. You describe your service. Each service is a product. You describe the service. You put a short, unique description for it. And then you link to that services page on your site. And all the services pages, they're in a hub page for all of these pages. So someone goes to yoursite.com forward slash services. They see all of these services that you offer. And then when you click on one of them, the URL slug is the name of the service. And then you have Google business profile sending real engagement and a link, but real engagement, which is so important to SEO. And so many people don't, don't really realize how important this is. Google business profile is sending real engagement to these bottom of funnel SEO landing pages where people are searching for services because people who are searching for services on Google, they are looking to spend money. They are looking to buy. They are looking to get on the phone and say, you do this. Can you do this? All right. How much? Great. And your page says it's, it, you do exactly what I'm looking for. Fine. And so few people just target these granular services in pretty much any niche. What people will, what people will do is they will put all of these services that they do on one page meant to target all of the services. That kind of makes you look like a jack of all trades, master of none, especially when you compare it to pages that are individual for the service. So if you are looking for corporate retreat planning and you see a page that says we do VIP guest coordination, corporate retreat planning, product launch event planning versus you see a company and they have an entire page dedicated to corporate retreat planning. Which are you going to trust more? You're going to, you're looking for corporate retreat planning. You're going to trust the company that has an entire page dedicated to how they do corporate retreat planning. And these pages don't need to be very long, 400 or 500 words. I talk about this tactic all the time in the show, but what you do, and this is something that I haven't really brought up before, is you literally in Google business profile, you add your services as products, and then you link to these pages. And again, you give a unique description. You could just write a one sentence description. If you just wrote a 400 to 500 word page, it's not going to be a lot of extra work to write a one sentence description. The name of the product is the service. And then it sends real engagement, which helps these services pages rank on Google for the name of the services which when people search the name of the services, they are high intent. They are looking to convert. They are looking to take action. And as you're building this out, you think of all the services that you offer. You plan to make a page for each one of these services. You list them all on this hub page. They're categorized. So in the event planning example, you have corporate events, you have weddings, you have private parties, you have event logistics. And then under those, like uh, under event logistics, you have event budget management. You have event day of logistics management. By the way, each of these are keywords. They have real search volume behind them. Many people search these each month. These are example keywords, I'm, but like the services that you offer are also SEO keywords. People search your services. So you have this hub page housing all of the services that you offer. You just list them all there categorized cleanly, and then you build it out. You make each page. What you do is even if the page is not live on Google business profile, you still list all of these services that are also listed on your services hub page on your website. You list all of these, and then you link to the main services page. And then when the page is live, when this new page is live, you swap out the link with the full page URL with the new page. Whereas like if a page that isn't live, you might just link on Google business profile to yoursite.com forward slash services. 
for so let's say you let's say you VIP guest coordination. That's something that you offer. You list it on your hub page. The page isn't live yet. The page, the the dedicated page for VIP guest coordination, that's not live yet. But you do offer that service and you put it in your Google business profile. You write a short description for it in Google business profile. And then in Google business profile, the link that you use is yoursite.com forward slash services. And that's it. And then when the VIP guest coordination link is, is fully live, when the page is fully live, you take the full URL of the newly live page and then you use that on Google Business Profile. So you are still sending you are still sending juice and engagement to this hub page as you're building it out. Oh, it's so good. It's uh, people really underestimate the fact that searchers are a lot more likely to convert if they see a full page for what they are looking for versus a page that lists a bunch of different things. And What's super cool about this is this doesn't just work for services. This also works for products. You don't even need to be a local business. You can still have a Google business profile. People search your business name. They find your Google business profile. They see the products that you offer. And then the products that you offer also go to dedicated landing pages targeting these products. You can target the same product with multiple keywords multiple search terms. For example, you could be selling a no frills men's leather wallet. That's a search term right there. But this no frills men's leather wallet also works as a minimalist leather wallet for men or a classic men's bifold wallet. You list all of these as individual products in your Google business profile, even though it's it's the same product. People search the same product in different ways and they all go to separate landing pages on your site targeting each keyword. Something that a lot of people don't think about and that sends extra engagement to these pages and pages that get engagement are pages that rank. And when you're targeting keywords with purchase intent, they're also pages that make money. So not a lot of people are doing this. I thought it was a cool little hack and I wanted to share it with you on this episode of the podcast. Somehow I have done 700 episodes in a row, days in a row, doing this show from I started it 700 days ago. This is episode number 700, 700 consecutive days doing this show. I love sharing little digital marketing hacks like this, marketing hacks, sales hacks. I'm sharing a lot of SEO hacks lately. Follow if you like, subscribe if you like SEO hacks and SEO best practices, especially ones that nobody knows about. I hope you all will try this. And that's all that I got for you on this episode of the podcast. If you want to go deeper into SEO, I have a 13 and a half hour course, spent a year making it about how to get customers with SEO at compactkeywords.com. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.